All right, hello everyone, I'm here with... Uh, wait, George, I think the lens cap is on. What? No, the lens cap isn't on. What's that thing on the camera? Oh, that? That's just the lens cap. What? All right, I'm... Wait, George, point the camera at me. Oh, okay. All right, no, no, the person that's talking right now. Oh, oh, wait, are they invisible? No, George, over to the left a little bit. Oh, okay, wait, no, the other left. Oh, no, George, ah, come on, there you go, okay, yeah, thanks. All right, I'm here with one of the Beatles, um, uh, Paul, Mer Paul, uh, Lennon, or that, uh, him, uh, he's got a mustache. And, uh, anyways, so, uh, what do you think about George Washington? Would you vote for him again? Oh, yes, George Washington, he seems like a pretty cool bloke, if I must say so myself. Uh, you see, um, yeah, I think he'd really do a better job than this, uh, this French guy, you know, because he's an American and everything, and, um, he seems to really, you know, at least care about people a little bit, you know, and maybe he's done some foolish things and whatnot, but, uh, I would definitely vote for him if I was an American. All right, well, great, well, well you, wait, your opinion doesn't even matter, then, you're not even American. See, so all the interviews that we gave were pretty positive, I will say. There's like a few, you know, bad apples and stuff like that. George Washington, more like, uh, uh, dumb, dumb Washington, man. I, I, I hate that. I hate that guy, man. He freaking, he freaking, he probably smells like freaking, the freaking glue, man. I hate that guy. He's a freaking, he's, I, I, I hate him. George Washington, no, no, I prefer, of course, Napoleon Bonaparte for president. Of course, yes, he is a quite he a great man. He's very tall and handsome and whatnot, so that is why, of course, I prefer George Washington. I mean, uh, Napoleon Bonaparte over George Washington, because uh, Napoleon Bonaparte is simply more handsome than, uh, than George Washington. This, of course, is an, is an unbiased opinion, of course. I am not a Napoleon Bonaparte, nor have I ever been. Napoleon Bonaparte, but man, I wish I could either give Napoleon Bonaparte a hug or become Napoleon Bonaparte myself. Yes, uh, very unbiased. Yes, yes. Wait, who is that British guy, by the way? He kind of looked familiar. Is that, uh, is that Ringo Harrison? Something like that. Look, the point is, we've got to up those numbers. I mean, people are pretty responsive to George. They seem to like him besides, like, those few random guys. That one short guy kind of looked familiar, didn't he? Never seen him in my entire life. Well, anyways, we got to figure out a way how to lower Napoleon's popularity and up George Washington's popularity. Hmm. But how? Well, I've got this idea for a new invention. I call it the taco burger. You see, you get a taco, you make you make that taco, you put it on a burger, taco burger. See, I think people would really like that. If I made, like, a, a whole, like, festival about taco burgers, people would be like, yeah, I want a taco burger. And then they'd be like, I'd be like hey, uh, George Washington is awesome, right? Because he's making taco burgers. And they're like, yeah, of course he is. And then we would, uh, we would just have a great time. We'd have a cool dance party and everything like that. And then uh, Napoleon Bonaparte would explode. Uh, yeah, uh, we'll, we'll call that plan uh, D, maybe uh, F or Z. Um, but it, it's, uh, it's definitely one of the plans that we have. Uh, but, you know... Do you guys remember when, like, Napoleon Bonaparte, like, made up all those things about us? Like, the whole, like, you know, not, you know, George Washington not chopping down the cherry tree and everything like that? Yeah, of course. I mean, that, that was 100% real. He had no right to say that. I mean, what am I going to do, not chop down a cherry tree? That's yeah, ridiculous. What if we make our own propaganda films, make it look like Napoleon is a stupid idiot guy, and make us look like the coolest people ever? You know, that's not a half bad idea. You know what they say, propaganda is always good to have. What? Who says that? Uh, just the propaganda posters I see all over the place. Well, I say we have you be filmed like some sort of like really cool guy, and we have somebody play Napoleon, and then they look like a stupid idiot guy. Yeah, but uh, who's gonna play Napoleon? Who's the most French person here? Uh, General Grievous? What, he's not here? Oh, sorry, Grievous. I think we know who exactly the most French person is here. Uh, uh, aren't I a little taller to be playing Napoleon? 
Oh, don't worry, I can fix that. Hey, wait a second. No, it's fine. You can just kneel down, I guess, or something, or like sit on the floor or whatever. Yeah, that's a much better idea than whatever Ben had. Hey, it could work. All right, Mr. Director, I'm ready for my close-up. Oh, ben, you're getting a little too close there. Ben, ben, hold on. A little, little too Ben, oh, Ben, oh, ow. All right, let's see here. What's the vision? Oh, <laughs> I've got it. All right, George, just pretend you're crossing the Delaware again. Whatever comes to mind is what you gotta say. So go for it, remember? You're crossing the Delaware. It's night. It's Christmas or whatever. You're ready to go invade. And action. Oh, God, I hope there aren't any crocodiles in here or, like, giant snakes or something. What, God, God, is that, is that really what you're like when you're crossing the Delaware? Oh, no, no, I was, I was very brave. I was not afraid of any sort of crocodiles or snakes or anything like that. All right, all right, this time, just behave more heroically. Ready? Okay, I'm ready. And action. All right, all right, next we need you. All right, all right, uh, Thomas is your big moment, man. This is, this is really gonna sell it, all right? You gotta really behave like Napoleon. You gotta make sure you get the French accent down perfectly. Hit, hit me if it, go ahead. Give me, give me a test line or something like that, but as Napoleon. <clears throat> all right, I got this. <clears throat> I'm, I'm a professional actor. I've taken many, many acting schools. I got, in, got two Oscars last year. Anyways, um, <clears throat> get into character, get into character. French, uh, pasta, uh, linguine. Okay, uh, I... And Napoleon Bonaparte. Okay, that was pretty good, actually. You got it, you got it. All right, ready? And action. All right, for this scene, just pretend you're underwater, all right? Okay. George, George, don't actually drown yourself. Hang on. All right. This is the big final moment, all right? Just play up the emotions. Hit the beats. You guys got it. And also be careful of the lava. That's actually real lava. All right, and action. Man, he sure has been in there for a while. How long does it take to make a movie anyways? Oh, here I am, guys. All right. Ready to see the finished product? Of course, yeah, let's hit it. My name is George Washington, and I am the founder of America. These United States of America. Did you know that my middle name actually is America? That means that this country was named after me, but it's for all of you people out there, because together we fought tyranny and we won. Now you must enjoy the freedoms in which we fought and sacrificed for, freedoms away from evil people like me, Napoleon Bonaparte, the baddest guy ever. I'm the type of guy that puts in the milk before the cereal, and I also do other evil things, such as eat the chicken wings, even the bone, too. I eat, I eat the bone and the chicken, all together, because I am evil. Oh my goodness, guys, that is Napoleon Bonaparte, one of the most evil people ever. Imagine if he became president, how much damage he would do to the country. Like, he would do some pretty bad things. We've got to stop him. Was that good? The only evil person here is you, George Washington, because you are very evil, and I, of course, won the presidency after I kicked you out of it illegally, and then I'm even, I'm a French guy, I shouldn't even be the president, but here we are, which means I'm cool. Actually, that means you're a dumb idiot and you're gonna go down. I'm gonna beat you up with my fists of justice for you, the American people. Oh yeah? Well, bring it on, man. And so, it went on for days, the battle for America. But never did I give up for you American people. I wanted to fight this stinky French guy and win, because I am also taller than him. I'm such a dedicated president that I even fought under the water for you guys, so maybe you should uh, re-elect me or something, that'd be kinda cool. It's over, Napoleon. I have the high ground. Dang it. He's right. I failed because I'm Napoleon Bonaparte, and that's what I do. I famously failed at the Battle of Waterloo, and even ABBA made a song about me, which means I lost. That's right. And that is why George Washington is the greatest president of all time. <laughs> so, what'd you guys think? 
That was the greatest movie I've ever seen in my entire life. Let's do this thing. What are we going to do? How are we going to attribute this thing? Welp, I've got it uploaded on YouTube right now. Let's see how many views it has. Oh, it's got two views. Well... All right, that's two more people that are on our side. <laughs> Great work, everybody. Mission success.